In 2013, just a few seasons ago, the Lakers were willed to the playoffs by a 34-year-old Kobe Bryant. Behind is Kevin Durant. Oh, Kobe does it to Clay Thompson! He returned the favor on Meta! And right when the stars were beginning to align, the worst possible thing happened. Back stops and Bryant again going to work, falls down. Again, he's struggling. Kobe had torn his Achilles and would miss the rest of the season and most of the following season. A massive blow to the career of Kobe Bryant, because an Achilles injury isn't just a normal setback, it's a potential career-ending injury. But you can never doubt the Mamba mentality because after a year and a half of nothing but recovery for the aging superstar, he would make his return to the NBA stage. But right when everyone thought there would be another season of Kobe, injuries struck again. The Lakers announced Thursday afternoon that Kobe Bryant now has a lateral tibial plateau fracture in his left knee. After only six games in the 2014 season, the road to recovery was staring back at the Black Mamba for the second time in less than two years. A series of unfortunate events in back-to-back -back seasons that definitely took a toll on Kobe's ability to perform at an older age. After basically another year of recovery, the 2015 season served as another chance for Kobe to continue playing basketball. It was obvious his numbers had taken a significant drop off from before the Achilles injury, and understandably so. His points average dropped by 5, and his field goal and 3 point percentages were well below what they should be. But it was Kobe, and he still could entertain. Organized. He's alone on the right wing. What a move! What a basket! And the foul! Kobe was selected to his 17th All-Star game but was unable to participate as injury had sidelined him for the third time in three seasons. Just a sore right shoulder is what the Lakers are calling it. He is available to go back into the game. However, even after tearing his rotator cuff in his right shoulder, Kobe stayed in the game and shot with his left instead. But shortly after, Kobe was pulled from the game and would opt into season-ending surgery. And on November 29th, 2015, Kobe Bryant would announce his retirement, and the 2016 season would be the last for the Mamba. And, and finally, I just had to just accept the fact that I, just, I, I don't want to do this <laughs> anymore, you know, it's, it's, and I'm okay with that. One more final season to put the cherry on top of a Hall of Fame career. Kobe, three on its way, got it! Hey! Jeremy Lin sending it out to him. He'll be driving, and he'll get to the line and turn it in. Nate Barnes right around to make Kobe turn it back the clock. Highlights have never been hard to get for Kobe, but leaving the world speechless is a much more difficult task, especially at his current age. Celebration for you the last game. A lot of us are going to be there. Can you promise me one thing? What's up? I need 50 that night. Can you do it? The <laughs> last, last home game at the Staples. Can you give us 50? 42. Uh, no. <laughs> April 13th, 2016 was the final game for the legendary Kobe Bryant, and everyone was there to watch. At the time, Kobe was having basically his worst season ever and nobody was expecting a performance for the ages, but what was about to unfold would shock the entire world. And the other forward for the final time, number 24 on the floor, 6 From the start of the game, it was clear the Mamba was going to get his shots up. He gives him a strong move. Kobe to the basket. Oh, pretty. That's loose. Kobe. Oh, boy. Jacks a two. Oh. Give me the ball. Feeling it. Firing. Oh, got the ball. It was looking like a classic Kobe game, just with an older Kobe body. He was still knocking down shots, his footwork was perfect, and he was scoring on all three levels. Every single point he scored had the entire arena cheering and screaming at the top of their lungs. Under a third. Hits the three! 35! But if you know Kobe, you know he loves to win. But by the start of the fourth quarter, it wasn't looking like a win was probable. With a little over nine and a half minutes left in the game, the Lakers would find themselves down by 12 points and heavily reliant on the oldest guy on the team to keep them in the game. Kobe for three! Yes! However, in about four minutes, Kobe and the Lakers had managed to cut the deficit to just three. 
He's from Brazil this year. I think that would surprise a lot of people. 45. The Jazz would bounce back going on a 7-0 run to bring the lead back up to 12 with three minutes left. And that's when Kobe Bryant showed everyone why he's called the Black Mamba. Bryant gets to the basket. Bryant going to the basket. Kobe yes. Bryant. Final minute 30. Bryant from 14. Has 53. Yeah. Bryant for three. Go! Kobe would hit four straight shots to erase a 10-point deficit and put the Lakers into a one-point game with just under a minute left. Exhausted, out of gas, and with the game on the line. Give them one last gamer. Bryant. 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 On the move, with the jumper. He oh, got it! Oh, my! 58 points! And the Lakers lead! Kobe hits a clutch shot in classic Kobe fashion, lifting the Lakers to a one-point lead. I need 50 that night. Can you do it? The last, last home game at the Staples. Can you give us 50? 42. Uh, no. <laughs> 60. Shaq wanted 50, and instead, he got a 60-point final game when everyone, not even Kobe himself, was expecting it. A 37-year-old Kobe Bryant coming off a torn Achilles, fractured knee, and torn rotator cuff had stunned the entire NBA world with a final performance for the ages. And with the Jazz defeated, the Black Mamba, Kobe Bryant, completed an all-time great career. What can I say? Mamba out. But anyways guys, how impressive was Kobe Bryant's last game? Was this your favorite Kobe moment or maybe the most emotional moment? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Yeah, Peace. I know.